Hi tribe, welcome to my channel. Whoever is new, nice to see you. Consider joining. So what we'll be talking about today is why are you here? And before you watch this pick a card, I really want you to understand something. I have been contemplating about fear today. I'm just weird like this, I know. Um, and one question popped in my mind. I know that the only thing that's holding us back from our best selves is fear, right? A fear of suffering, a fear of failure. Um, and then I was thinking, this is all, this all comes down to ego, doesn't it? We are afraid to, fi to fail because we usually are afraid of how other people will perceive us then. I screwed up, I'm, I'm not enough, um, I haven't done a well enough job, I am not worthy, or what is going to happen now because I've screwed up, you know what I mean? So then I was thinking, this is all ego, 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 how others will see me. Yes, there is a sense of you saying, damn it, Brigitte, or damn it, whoever you are, um, you screwed up at this, you know? But then, you know, you pick yourself up and you keep going. But I think the only thing that really holds us back is the ego. And I was thinking, hey, if there were no people, so answer this question to yourself. If there were no people on the planet apart from your own self, would you still be, be fearful to screw up? Would you be fearful of failure? Would you be afraid? Um, when you think of it, there is no one around you. It's only you with your own self. So we're coming back to something that I keep teaching you, especially my clients who come in to me to uh, ask for guidance, I always try to tune into your energies and say, hey, what is not working for you? What's holding you back? And uh, the moment you understand that you are the master of your own life, of everything that has happened until now, would it be terrible things? Would it be good things? Um, is the moment you take your life responsibly. The moment you are actually accepting that you were the person who drew it in doesn't matter how unfair the situation seems like because if you look back at any tragic events of your in your life you can learn from them and that you drew in in order for you to learn something out of it and everything that's going to be happening for you in the future will be your own creation. So the moment you understand that, guys, and you really create heaven over here is the moment that you become unbreakable. What I mean by creating a heaven in here, right? It's um, how do you master your thoughts? Because your thoughts create emotions. Emotion, emotions can create illnesses. Emotions can um, impact your moods. And emotion is really um, sometimes our enemy, right? And then it can come down to body and illnesses and all of those bad things. So again, whatever sickness you have, you have created it yourself. You want to accept it or not. It works a bit differently when it comes to you trying to heal your own pain you can heal your own body but sometimes it's not working when you wanna heal your own pain and I've been talking to my mom actually because she's uh, she is someone who can heal uh, with her hands without touching someone's body even uh, and I was like hey you know it's interesting that we sometimes cannot heal our own pain and then we came to conclusion why that might be because we are using the same hurt energy to heal something that's hurting let me know what you think about this down below because i love discussions as all of you know and it's interesting how we can heal illnesses right but when it comes to pain it's somehow different have you noticed that guys let me know okay so just comment down below your experiences i want to get to the bottom of this 
give me the truth um okay so back to pick a card guys why i've been talking for so long is because i want you to understand whatever future you pick when we when it comes to pick a cards this is saying that's what you can get this is within your grasp but then sometimes we are not able to manifest those futures that we want um, because we are not taking responsibility so let's say if I told you that uh, next year you will find the one and you, you get married um, you might just sit there and be like hey cool okay I'm just gonna go about my life as usual I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crave for something better I'm not gonna crave for a change because this person is coming into my life right and in some cases it can happen but it means that that person probably was already on the right track and have done something that they were supposed to do mission wise so without any further ado let's jump into your mission and why are you here on this planet hey guys so I brought the shells back <laughs> let's pick from three piles Pile number one, we have this shell over here. Pile number two, whoop. Pile number three. And if you have heard the number before you've seen cards or shells visually, I would suggest you to go for that pile and maybe choose the shell as your additional message. So I'm gonna start with pile number one. See you there. Hi guys, whoever has chosen pile number one, we have this shell over here. Let's get into it. So what I see happening for you, I'm gonna shuffle on camera. The only cards that I've picked was the one from Intuitive and then two work your light cards and what you've got here one says unbound releasing your soul patterns contracts and past lives and then the other one funny fact it's kind of vibing with this one it says align your life what is not aligned or needs to change so a very interesting scenario pile number one um i like when i use this deck to read it from the book just because how beautiful the description is and it just tells you a story and the card that i have chosen to read out for you is the unbound card first off it's talking about you releasing from any past trauma any past life trauma and changing your life completely which can be a difficult thing to do for many but it is very possible and that's why you're here you are here to align your life in the way you want it to be so let's read about this one and then we're going to ask tarot what it is that you need to do or what has to be worked on so unbound it says it is time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life they are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you are ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soul made that have an expiry date. It could be a vow of silence or chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is the life in which you free yourself from trauma of past lives. What old ways of being have an expiry date? When you name them, you claim them, and they stop holding power over you. When acknowledging these old patterns, it is also important to acknowledge how they have served you up until now. For example, a soul pattern of playing small caused by a soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice would have served you by keeping you safe. Huh, isn't it tying into what I said in the intro? Whoever hasn't listened to intro, please do. In order to grow, you now, need, you now need to soften by receiving and calling in support. It is time to unbind, unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer su sustainable for you. So let's ask Taro what we're dealing with here. We have a clear message here that I'm seeing for you. I want to talk about it a little bit before we pick we draw any cards what's happening here for you guys is um, you might be feeling that you are that one person who is 
approaching life in a very different manner than your family has, than your um, uh, grandparents have. So you might even do something or have an urge to do something in life that is completely different and maybe something that not many people um, have thought of you. Maybe this is going to be... So we're talking about your mission here already, okay? This is something that you are meant to be doing. So the way you play out your life has to be different from what was happening prior or what you are feel uh, or what you are familiar with and your family is familiar with okay so for example if your family has um hasn't had money and they were poor right your mission in life is to break that pattern. If um, your family has troubled relationship history, your mission is to bring that break that pattern. And you are the one to break the end of this happening. And once you start doing that, it is not an easy task, but I feel like this is what you're gonna be doing, guys. Uh, when you do that, you create a new future, not only for yourself, but for the generations to come. And I just heard, you know, um, there is a saying, fear in family is felt until someone is ready to face the pain, if you know what I mean. So let's jump into tarot and let's see what's up. Let me see which deck wants me to be used. One second, sorry, I have one deck here that I haven't... I haven't taken one second. I feel like this is gonna be an interesting one and I don't know why the goddess tarot is looking at me. So let's jump into this. Why are you here, pile number one? What are you here to do? Why are you here? Wow, okay. That's so interesting. Why are you here, pile number one? Okay. I'm not taking reversals, guys. Just to let you know, let me take these cards away so I have more space. What is holding you back? Okay. I see, I see. What is that holding you back? What else is holding you back? Okay. There's one more thing. What is holding you back? What are the steps that you have to take to get there? Nice. What are the steps? Nice. Okay. Okay, wow. What's up, what's up, what's up? I really don't like this light, but hmm, there is a reflection that annoys me. There we go. And as I said, annoys me. Music stopped working. It's okay, tech. It's okay. I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> this happens to me quite a lot. If you know, if you're watching my videos, especially on on personal in personal readings, things are things are weird. Okay, a couple of more questions and we're gonna start. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, pile number one, there's a lot of things to do with fear. And I know this is something I talked about in intro. If you take a look at this card, first of all, it says align your life. I feel like a lot of you might feel that way that things are kind of messed up right now. And um, why are you here, guys? Your mission is, first of all, 
is to speak your truth, okay? And whatever that truth is, I'm not gonna get into into this too much because um, there are too many scenarios here. If you take a look at this girl, um, she has dropped her mask. So you need to drop your mask in order to show your face. And maybe some of you are actually afraid of showing your true face. Who are you? What are you trying to portray to the world? Because this is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is someone who doesn't um, hide what it is that she's thinking about. She's someone who just spoke her truth, it seems like, in theater, in a play. Um, you are here to spread your word, guys. And uh, once you realize that, to spread your word, you firstly need to tune in to yourself and do some research. Research is coming through here quite a lot and it's part of your mission too. Research and uh, seeking for truth. That is for pile number one really important. What is your truth? What truth are you trying to spread to the world? What is not fair? What is that you feel like has to be talked about? This lady over here is um, analyzing the information that she has in front of her. So this is part of your mission, analyze information and then spread it to the world. Spread something that maybe hasn't been talked about too much or maybe something that's taboo. Or maybe if something traumatic has happened in your life, I would say use that trauma in order to spread your word about it. You know when sometimes we have people who have suffered from um, abuse, any kind of abuse, you find those people talking about that um, on TED Talks. You find those people talking about that on YouTube. You find those people writing books. And um, that's something that's possibly that you might have to do. Also for pile number two, um, your home life is very connected to your mission too. I don't know why, but your home location, your home life is connected. It's part of your mission. Now, another thing what I'm seeing you have to, one of the main things you are here for, you are a magician, you're represented by a magician. Magician is someone who has realized how to use all those four energies, fire, earth, air and water, right? So you are someone who is a manifester and you shouldn't be afraid of your powers, whatever powers that you have. Um, this is someone who wants to keep getting books here, if you can see. Um, this is someone who is here to make sure that the world hears them. And uh, it's very, again, closely related, connected to something that has happened to you yourself that has to come from your personal life um, and in order for you to spread that word you need to put things in places and say how i'm gonna how i'm gonna speak about this information how i'm gonna help people out by the work that i do um how i'm gonna what did I learn from it myself? Because we have part of your mission, Ten of Swords. This is saying, this is every single experience that you have um, on the wall that wasn't very pleasant, probably. Because this card is talking about, you know, to kill someone, you just need one sword, right? If you look at regular tarot, uh, this card is... Um, usually someone laying on the ground and has 10 swords at their back, in their back, and it only takes one to kill them. So this is related really strongly to uh, any kind of difficulty that you have had in the past, okay? And uh, this is something that is going to put you at ease once you start spreading your wor word about it or once you start working in a similar field to it okay to whatever that has happened to you before and the moment you start doing that is the moment that's going to give you peace and your mission will start bringing you money now when we talk about what is it that you need to do again i keep getting books here i don't know you know be um don't take books as an actual book um 
take it as a reference for yourself so this is again someone who is noting things down and it ties into me uh, when I spoke about research and when I spoke about it's it's your knowledge it's something that you know of okay and uh, it sits in a position where what is it that's kind of holding you back um, and what's holding you back for you guys it seems like you might be afraid of it's like it's so the this whatever the trauma that he, you have experienced in childhood or maybe when you were grown up or earlier um, in life it seems like it's stuck to you and maybe sometimes you feel like you don't you are so used to your own pain that you don't want to move from those stormy waters to calm waters and this is something that has to be done for pile number one um, maybe you are in the wrong place maybe you are it's time for you to move maybe it's time to explore new waters and then when we talk about what is it that's holding you back, we have the queen of pens. Maybe it's money is the issue, but then how do you go about this money? Because if you look at this card over here that talks about movement of some sorts, you don't really see any material belongings in that boat. Meaning that for your mission, probably you could get away without having as much money as you think that you need to have. So look for opportunities, how you're gonna do it. Now, one more thing, what's holding you back is, I feel like you're not maybe sometimes patient enough, you know, or you are stubborn. And um, be a bit more open-minded on how you're gonna approach this mission in life. Because when I look at this card, for me, it talks about someone who has been working a lot on that, um, bush <laughs> and uh, they're still taking care of it but this is something how i'm picking up this is something that you are familiar with maybe it's time to plant some new flowers maybe it's time to seek for you know what i'm hearing it's very easy it's very easy to suffer in pain that is familiar but no one really wants to experience new pain meaning taking the risk of some sorts because we are so used to the pain that we know of so there are a lot of questions for you to answer when i look at these guys in front of me here what it is that you have to do you have to stand in your power guys pile number one you don't be afraid of being that one person who I feel like there are some hmm, there are some issues when it comes to your confidence there are some issues when it comes to you believing in yourself you know maybe you are someone who is introverted and you're like I couldn't hold that spotlight I couldn't be able to 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 be that spotlight you know I am I, maybe I want to be one of those people who are below me just watching someone maybe that's what you're doing right now maybe you're watching people um, online who are doing great things or doing something that you are supposed to be doing and you're like oh good for them you know but maybe I'm not capable of this um, there is no such thing that you're not capable of this it's all about you deciding how much you want it and um, you know there is oh I keep getting quotes for pile number one what is it it says there is someone who's less what's the word I'm looking for sorry guys there is someone in the world who is less knowledgeable or less experienced in that one thing that you would like to do and they chase in their dream and you are probably someone who is more knowledgeable and more capable in that field but you don't believe in yourself enough so there are people out there who are less qualified doing the things that you want to do that was the quote basically okay think about that and um Again, for you, um, family is very important in this life, I feel like. But next to that, what I'm seeing here, it seems, again, it's very similar. Ooh, look at that. 
look at that. Got it? You need to release yourself from the familiarity. You need to release yourself from something that is already known for you. Step up to the light. Okay? Step up to that light that uh, maybe no one else around you is familiar with. Because And why? Because you are that person who has to take over that mission and you are supposed to be the light for someone else. And unless you see that yourself, no one else will. Because those people are not on the path that you are on. And you are there, you would be surprised if you stepped your game up and you stepped in your mission, you'd be surprised how many people would come in your life and say the ones that you least expect and say, hey, wow, you, you've inspired me, you're doing a great job. And I look up to you. So step out of that person who is looking up to someone else and be the one who people are looking up to. And that is what I've got for pile number one. I hope that has helped out. Let me know if it did and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, in pile number two people, whoever has chosen this shell over here. How I'm doing things today is a bit different. So the only cards that I've picked for you so far were the ones you saw at the very beginning. I have one intuitive card over here. I've got two of work your light oracle and I'm gonna only read out one of them and why I'm reading this out is because how beautiful the description is and I really like the author who is Rebecca Campbell of this deck. So what you got over here, one of them is answer your call answer the call it says what is your soul calling you to do and the other one you have it says keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand be beside you and this is a really beautiful card what it tells me straight away is there is something um that you are not sure how you're gonna do it how to get to the place where your soul is drawing you and uh, for a lot of you, pile number two, you are being looked after someone from your family. It can be far back. It can be a um, close family member who has passed away. And they are watching you. So there is no point to be afraid when it comes to taking um, any kind of risks in life or following your path that you feel like you're supposed to be on and sometimes that path doesn't make sense why do i want to go there i don't know why i don't know why i want to do this thing but i just want to do it so if someone has watched um i had a story that i've shared from my own in my video that it's a story time video the last one check it out if you want to at the very beginning i was talking about how I started my channel and all of those things and um, it was by me listening to my gut feeling and saying and I was like hey it doesn't make sense like that I want to do this I'm not talking about YouTube it was something else so you'll find out there but I'm just gonna listen to it so it's a, a little bit like this um, you are being drawn to a certain direction and it might go against your intellect you're like why the heck do I want to do this thing so let's read and say a call card and see what it tells you here it says your guidance is divinely guided you are being called to answer the call of your soul it might be scary it might not make sense but if you trust your soul's yearnings you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine see that's where i was getting answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing rather a lifelong dance Deep down, you already know what it is you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you are not most people. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. And this, guys, is something that's important for you. You don't need to know the whole plan. Just take the first step, okay? 
You don't even need to know where it's leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the most resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. So note that down, okay guys, pile number two. For you, I'm gonna be using the healing tarot. I don't know why I feel drawn to this deck for you and let's see what's up you are really being looked after one spirit here that's what I would like to exaggerate for pile number two so whatever you do you're being looked after do not be afraid okay let's see what is your mission here guys what is your mission oh interesting Oh wow, I have shivers with this one. I like you. I'm gonna show you cards as I speak. I'm gonna ask a couple of more questions, so just bear with me. So I'm drawing four cards for your mission and then we're gonna check what it is that you have as a stone, as a bump on the way. And I'll ask one more question. What is your mission? Wow. You kick ass pile number two. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. What do you have to do? No. What do you have to get rid of to get there? What do you have to get rid of? Nice. I already know what's that about. A lot of wings here so you might be followed by birds you might be followed by any fluttering kind of kind of creatures okay butterflies birds um, you might see angel wings um, on social media or whatever maybe you are just connected to your angels too okay what is that that you have to get rid of thank you Hmm. That is interesting. What is it that you have to get rid of? There's one more that I need to pull. What is it that you need to get rid of? What is it that you have to do? Ooh, okay. Nice. What is it that you have to do? What is it that you have to do? If you've noticed, I let gravity do its work when it comes to tarot, and I feel like it works really well. So <laughs> it's, um, I let forces take over. A lot of angelic vibe to this, but don't take angelic as an angel, actual angel. I feel like you're being looked after one deceased person and possibly an angel too. So your mission here in this life is to be the justice why because you've got balls file number two okay and not everyone can do the job that you are supposed to be doing on this earth so in order to do the mission that you're supposed to do you have to step in to an energy it's very interesting how this is gonna tie in an energy of lightheartedness so your mission is closely related to you know what i'm feeling someone who brings justice to unfair situations so you might be drawn to being um to work in in a field where you protect someone you might be drawing um being drawn to a field where you are 
a boss but even if you are boss in a company you have to be the one who brings justice to unjust situations you know what i mean you are someone who has to be a leader but who also somehow incorporates you you are someone who have to take care of people who are less capable of doing things that you can do yourself so you are protector of some sorts okay pile number one justice and an emperor that's why i was being like whoa you've got balls so um this is someone who is not afraid to take um charge and you have to be in charge pile number two whatever in charge means to you and it's a lot to do with justice system it's a lot to do with um maybe you want to be that politician who is not a liar or maybe you want to be you want to work in court maybe you want to be security uh, maybe you want to be policeman or policewoman maybe you want to be working with those people who teaching them who are not as capable, maybe disabled, maybe um, children who are, who have some kind of illness. It's all about that. See what I'm getting? You are the power, pile number two. And who I like this energy, man. You are here on a massive mission. And uh, one of your cards talking about a mission is eight of cups so number eight is important here and number eight as i always say is your work connected to your soul's mission and that's how it's gonna bring you money okay to get to the place where you want to be it's like you need to get to the place where you don't work a day in your life anymore because your job brings you fulfillment and um, in every single mission, it's not only you, pile number two, in every single mission in life, that's how it is. But for you, it's very exaggerated, mean, meaning that maybe you are already on a track, on a good track. Maybe you've already started doing this. You've got really good intuition, pile number two. You've got moon over there, massive moon, and you're following it. So follow your moon. And um, you are someone who... I keep hearing protect 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 okay someone who is here on this earth to protect weaker ones or to show them guidance of some sorts but it's a lot to do with this um with the system maybe you hate the system pile number two you hate <laughs> everything how um how this world You just hate the rules. Wait, and there is one song. There is one song, one second. What's that song? I'm just gonna search for it. Sorry, panel number two, I had to stop the video because I was looking for that song that keeps ringing in my ear. So the song is uh, maybe those who are not into heavier music, you won't know it, but it's uh, the band is called Rain, Rage Against the Machine. And the song is called Killing in the Name. And um, he starts singing the song by saying some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. And I'm just going to play a little bit of it. And then towards the end of a song, um, he, he sings, F you, I won't do what you told me. So literally this song sums up the vibe that I'm getting from you. And um, you are someone who, as I said, kicks ass. So I really like this energy about you. Now, what you need to let go of or what's an obstacle for you, I feel like you might become a little bit discouraged uh, because of everything that you see in life because you feel like things are unfair and uh, you don't know how to get to that vibration where you can um, finally see the way how you're gonna do this and uh, again wings 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 are coming through here so I don't know maybe you have um, an insect tattooed somewhere 
or you have a wing statue somewhere or you're thinking about it or you just have a piece of jewelry. And as I'm speaking, <laughs> I look at my own jewelry and these are the wings, right? So there's a lot of energy <laughs> that's to do with being massively protected. So how to come out of this for you, pile number two, you have to realize that you need to step out of a victim mentality and understand and i don't i'm not saying that you are in victim mentality but there is a part of it um that you probably don't believe in yourself enough okay uh, maybe i'm not gonna be strong enough to do it you have all the strength that is needed here another thing it feels like you might need patience guys and that was coming through when i was reading answer your call where it was saying hey uh, take one step at a time and i always say to people especially my clients one step at a time that's how you get to where you're supposed to be the journey is a never-ending journey there is one goal and there's going to be another goal and another goal and you're just going to be climbing up, up those ladders now What's an obstacle for you? It might be a job for some of you. I don't know why this is coming through, but um, there is an obstacle when it comes to new opportunities. Maybe you feel like you don't get opportunities, but don't be mistaken. The opportunities are over there. If you lifted your head up, universe is proposing something new to you, but maybe you're so stuck in the old belief system that you can't see it sometimes. So it's a lot to do with um, your belief system and stepping up leveling up that energy there is not much to go for pile number two you're gonna get there now what you have to do first off it's gonna sound silly you need to start living your best life what i mean by that if you feel like going to that theater or musical or if you feel like getting um together with friends even if you feel like you don't have enough money for whatever uh it's saying do that because you can find you can find the ways to do it without needing as much, as many resources as, as you think you might need, if you know what I mean. There is always the way, it's saying. But in order to step into that powerful um, energy, you have to do things that are drawing, you are being drawn to. And it can be silly things like um, going to theater, going to visit a temple, uh, going small things. Okay, going to see a gig or just traveling to see your friend you haven't seen for a long time. Because step by step, everything is gonna tie in for you and you'll be on the right track. You don't get those urges for no reason in life. But it's not that when I say to people, you get, you're gonna get realization. Realization doesn't come with a blast like in this card, okay? It comes slowly and uh, it comes taken one step at a time and then one day you wake up and you, you look back and you're like bang I'm on the right track now okay so uh, you might be feeling sometimes that you're carrying too much um, not only you but other people's problems it's part of your journey because that's something that life is training you a little bit like in military uh, carry yourself when you're already exhausted and carry a massive bag behind you as well okay and then wear heavy boots so it's um your stamina is being tested and this is something that has to be worked on a little bit one thing that i would suggest for pile number two uh start viewing life from a different perspective which you already are probably <laughs> most of you 99 percent here but really dig deep there in that head okay really understand like put yourself on hold like a man has um no one has put him up there he just decided to do that you know he's like i'm just gonna hang here until i understand what's my next step so um time with yourself would be useful for pile number two and uh whatever your mission is I would be glad to hear because I feel like this is something that is going to be very important for everyone around you and for generations to come. So let me know if that has helped out, clear any clouds and I'm going to catch you next time. Bye for now. Hi guys, pile number three, whoever has picked this shell over here. So what I've done, I'm doing things differently today, I've picked only... Um, two cards for you and then plus intuitive 
and it kind of goes very well together. So the card from Work Your Light Tarot, sorry, Oracle, you've got is Lemuria and it says, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. And then the other one we've got, it's Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Skip Jesus if your religion is, is you are in different religion or if you don't believe, um, just skip that. But it says, seed in the light, laying foundations, divine plan, okay? So what I would like to talk about, this is the deck that I always like to read from the book because how nicely it's written. And um, what I'm seeing for you guys, you might be, you might find yourself in life that you are a peacemaker, okay? And one of the things what you have to do on this planet is to find peace within yourself and to spread that peace for other people too. Okay, and um, as I said, Lemuria is a lost uh, land, right? If you want to take a look at um, research a little bit, a little bit about Lemuria, but um, it's vibing really nicely with my intuitive, which I see that there is a planet, a part of a planet of some sorts, right? It's like a lost land, and uh, maybe sometimes you're feeling that you are, you might be feeling that you're out of this world. Okay, now let's read about Lemuria. It says, Lemuria or Mu is one of the Earth's lost lands, where heaven really was a place on Earth. A time before we were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, in Lemuria life worked in harmony, all beings were seen as equal, and we were deeply revenant to Mother Earth. We knew that a mosquito was no worse than us and the sun no better. Perhaps you too believe that heaven really can be a place on earth. Perhaps you are part of a transition team who at soul level are devoted to creating this kind of harmony on the planet now. Thank you for wanting to do this work. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the state of affairs on the planet right now, but you are being encouraged to keep holding a clear vision of the future. It is closer than you think. You may be guided to hold the frequency of Lemuria in your own community, family, workplace or within yourself. Know that it is possible and while at times it might feel like you are alone, you truly are not. There are hundreds or thousands who hold the codes of this ancient lost land and even Lemuria crystals that hold the codes of remembering that are beginning to rise all over the planet. Keep doing what you are doing and remember, the only way to heal the world around us is to first heal ourselves. And for you, pile number two, uh, sorry, three, this is going to be the first task that you have to do in life. Firstly, as I said, if you haven't listened to intro, find heaven over here, meaning peace, right? And that's the only way for you to get to your mission. So it's not the easy way, it's very difficult because you have to keep on working with yourself from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. Analyze why things are like they are, why you feel like you do and um, things will start making sense for you. So let me put these cards aside now and we're gonna use tarot. Let me see which deck wants to be used. Okay. I feel like I want to texture tarot for you. Let's grab that one. And let's see, what is your mission? Pile number three, what is your mission? What is your mission? Let gravity do its work. Soul searching. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. So you might be drawn, pile number two, to. You might be drawn to seek the highest wisdom of it all. You might be even, small percentage, percentage of you, being drawn to uh, going to monasteries, closing yourself, maybe for some time, being alone, meditating, and uh, becoming someone who is a master, a master of your own self, too many, pile number three, why are you here, yeah, 
how do I master and you know what this reminds me of we have a devil here you can't really see it's very dark hard how do I master my instincts my addictions my body urges how do I master it what do I do in order for me to have a full control of myself um, it's a it's not an easy task and you need to get out of some kind of chains that um, have been placed on you or you might have placed it on yourself and it's gonna require a lot of strength but you are here to become your strongest self but it's gonna come through soul searching and uh, you probably might be interested in yogis you might be interested in um, people who are talking about connecting to your higher self and being led in life by your higher self and not being able not giving into little things Hmm. and it's all about balance pile number three who you have a task on your shoulders and that's a very nice task so i would say visit holy places pile number three visit temples visit um i don't know what you believe in churches but it's not about belief this is about understanding that you are the master of your own self and i'm gonna talk about this a little bit because this is a, a big a big mission you're gonna be that light leading other people on your way okay um, and as this said thank you for do, for doing it, this work because this work is not easy work to do you're gonna incur you're gonna encounter people on your way who are really close-minded and uh for you to be on their way there is the reason you are there to show them the wisdom that you have but that wisdom comes from a lot of research and a lot of w work within yourself so this is someone who you need to get oh you need to get rid of any fear that you have left in your body and as i'm talking i'm looking at strength this woman is playing with um lion's mouth <laughs> and she's not afraid she's like i got it don't worry i got it so that's um uh, that's what oh you have a really powerful mind pile number three you are someone you have to master yourself to the level where you would be even i'm not even exaggerating here if you worked with yourself enough you'd be able to move things with with your mind so if you're interested in going so deep that would be something to look at uh, but there has to be steps taken prior to this okay you are a healer guys so whatever however that healing comes through um, has to be mastered do you want to heal people do you want to be able to heal yourself do first of all you obviously have to heal yourself to heal other people that is why this is going to be a journey you understand so you have more powers than you think and people might be sometimes a little bit scared or uh, they might be sometimes a little bit uncomfortable um of your presence because you have really strong energy around you and not maybe everyone can handle handle it okay but who um, who okay i just literally drew four cards and i was talking for like 10 minutes for pile number one these guys are probably gonna be people who are healing the world in one way or another so let's check uh what is it that it's on your way that is a blockage for you right now you and your own mind is the blockage for yourself now okay very straightforward here guys you have to get out of your head get out of your head you have you have so much waiting in front of you you have to get out of there okay i see you i see you blockage yeah, your own self is you are really big blockages for yourself guys pile number three you have one of the biggest powers when it comes to um when it comes to out of 3d you can connect 
to higher realms do you understand and you can master yourself in a way where you can affect other people too by your own mind by your own energy and uh, for you the blockage is maybe you are not spending enough time with yourself meditating maybe you're not spending enough time learning this craft or getting in your head and removing the blockages that you have what is it that's holding you back we're gonna take a look at this what is it that's holding you back it's crying it's basically crying over spilled milk so I feel like a lot of you are trapped in the past you know anything that has happened in the past is holding you back so the moment you change your belief system is the moment when you step into your power part number three what's holding you back again your own self guys your own head what's up with your head that's holding you back one more thing you might think pile number three if i go for this path that's my mission if i go for something that is not acknowledged or not accepted by society will i be able to uh, make a living out of it you will believe me you will you will see how i'm gonna draw a couple, uh, probably a couple of pentacles over here when it comes to what what was the question i wanted to ask what are the things you should be concentrated on and then we're going to take a look at how will it go for you what you should be concentrated on first pentacle page of pentacles concentrate on the craft again look read magical books whatever that magic is for you okay maybe you want to learn about reincarnation maybe you want to learn about how people used to be able to move things by their mind and they still can and i don't know why this is popping in my mind how i think yogis did that i'm not sure who did that i'm so sorry don't uh don't be mad at me, but there was a, there was a group of people, I think in India, for sure. Yeah, in India, where they were trying to revive a person by using their mind. And things, so many things are possible for part number three. Just know which direction you, you want to go about it because you're holding so much in you, okay? Learn. First off, start learning, pile number three. And again, this learning is connected to pentacles, to money. So don't be afraid, as I said before, that something that is your mission will not bring you money. It will. It will. Just be patient. Start learning. What do you have to do? Knight of pentacles. I told you I'm going to draw a couple of pentacles. Okay? Patience, I talked about, if you know Knight of Pentacles, this is the slowest move in Knight. It's saying you need to move steadily, one step at a time, okay? Don't expect everything to come with a bang here because you, your learning process is a bit longer than anyone else's because you are aiming for bigger things. You're aiming for things that are not considered as something normal, okay? Your path is out of normality okay and uh, embrace it jesus it's amazing like i love your pile number three okay one second and you are giving me ten of swords again you're like probably thinking hey how do i do this i don't know like i don't know and one second too many cards You need to fix something when it comes to the past, first off. So there is shadow work that has to be done. But don't cling on to your shadow self. Like, um, understand what happened. Accept it. Understand that it was your own self. And then close the door and forget about it, okay? And start learning. Start learning, pile number three. I'm really excited, whoever you are, pal number three, I feel like you're gonna be doing big things. Okay, what do you have to do? Again, apart from getting out of your head, right? Find balance in your life first off. Um, find balance and do things, I feel like sometimes you, pile number th three, are uh, affected by other people more because you feel energies much easier than other people can so learn how to 
protect your energy field because that's something that impacts you sometimes and maybe that is why we have this not only coming from your own self but coming from other people too okay so protect yourself file number three and then you might be juggling a couple of things at the same time so if that's something that you want to do you might have to work firstly in a job that you are maybe probably not very happy working at and uh, doing this other thing that you want to be doing on a side so there's going to be a bit of juggling happening for pile number three but it's a part of a journey again infinity number in numbers geez always infinity numbers uh, infinity symbol here if you can see infinity symbol here um i mean i mean you know what i mean now let's take a look at how will your money be like because I feel like you are very concerned about that pile number three. After you were patient enough to, go, to juggle a couple of things at the same time, which one of it is your mission, how will your money be after some time? You won't worry anymore. I'm gonna draw um, three cards seven of pentacles four of swords seven of pentacles four of pentacles this one came out unexpectedly I'm gonna draw one more I mean I don't think I need to say anything else here with that four of pentacles it's a bit different than in any other deck I feel like one part of your mission is also to do with travel guys so first off uh, the very beginning stages of it it says you will be sleeping better because probably a lot of you are not again find the ways how you detach from any external energies I don't know I'm gonna talk about this but remember how uh, mystics uh, they like to wear white color and white color is the one that reflects everything back therefore they don't want to um, attract or absorb anyone else's energies or any external things that is why they wear white so it's a little bit for you like learn now how to be in a state where you do not absorb everyone else's energy because you are very sensitive and it's one it's part of your mission you have to be sensitive to do things that you're going to be doing okay so we've got four of swords and it's saying first off you're gonna be able to sleep better and then we have seven of pentacles then you're gonna make a decision what it is that you want to do so hmm, um, do I quit this job now because I see money coming in kinda but I feel like I still need to stay there for some time this is gonna be your decision which painting do you buy okay how and you're gonna be sitting sitting there and thinking hmm how do I go about things because I already see money coming in my bank account and I don't have to worry about not having enough because your mission is something that you know sometimes people say hey why do you charge uh, for this work you know what kind of work I'm talking about here right listen in the old days any mystic, any person who was working in this field, right? Tarot readers, um, shamans, whatever it would be, they were taking care of their own community. So they were, um, they didn't have to worry about food or where they're gonna sleep because the community uh, was taking care of them. Now we live in a different world where we have to take care of ourselves and we don't have community accepting us right and giving us food so it works differently over there back then exchange was i'm gonna give you my bed i'm gonna give you my home and someone else gives me food that was the exchange right of energies these days the exchange is money so when people say sometimes that why do you have to charge and maybe you feel sometimes that you wouldn't want to charge or you feel bad about it understand that it has to be equal give and take which six of pentacles talks about it has to be equal give and take and that's the only way for you 
if you have any of those old beliefs uh, from before, right? Because these are the old beliefs, why do you charge, you know? Uh, just make sure that obviously you don't um, charge fortune. <laughs> so equal give and take, right? But then what I see with your mission connected, once you are already doing that work, uh, you might have to travel and you might have to spread the word and you might have to be the one who is a teacher for everyone else because you've spent enough time in the hermit mode, uh, soul searching, detaching yourself from what it is that's not healthy for you, even if, if it's your mind. And um, once you're in your power, you're able to do anything. Pile number three, really excited. I feel like you don't trust yourself enough. And it's time to start doing that because you are a natural healer if you look at my temperance card there are two snakes uh, and these are the snakes that you usually see in pharmacies right it's part of a logo so let me know how that resonated pile number three very mystical type of people uh, and I'm gonna catch you next time bye for now